Hello everyone, this is Ross here for XGR and today we're taking a look at Flutter Bombs. This releases on the 12th of April 2019. The price is still to be confirmed, but as always, it will be in the description below as soon as it's available. Right, let's jump into it and check it out. Right, so I'm going to jump into the campaign, show you some gameplay. Just want to show you this screen to start with. So there's different unlockable butterflies, or wing sets as they're called. Um, I'm assuming they unlock as you play through the campaign. So I have to start out with the first one called OP. You can also join uh, three other players, local co-op. Then onto the world map, so there's uh, 10 levels on here, obviously they unlock as you play through. Um, we're going to check out the first two levels I think to start us out with. So let's crack on. Hi right, guys, so it's uh, typical twin stick shooter style, left stick to move, right stick to aim, right trigger to fire. And um, we can drop bombs with the left trigger as well. So we're, we need to take out as many enemies as possible. We will get a boss spawn at the end of the level as well. Um, just to explain a few things, top left of the screen uh, you've got a blue bar which is your health. Um, you've also got a orange bar which is the ammunition. You pick those orange orbs up, I think they're called nectar. Um, at the top middle of the screen we've also got a pulsating butterfly. When that appears that means it's a upgrade for the butterfly to get. Which you can just see on top of this large flower. Just grab that, we get a speed boost. We got more firepower as well. Occasionally, the game gives you these upgraded uh, little companions come over to help you out. I'm not sure what the conditions is for getting those. Right, we run out of ammo again. Let's grab that. Another upgrade to find. It's just on the right side. Go. Uh, so as we progress through, more enemies will spawn, bigger enemies will spawn, and eventually we'll get the boss. You have to be careful of the fish as well. So just to the left here in this pond, you can see a fish. Um, if I scoot around in a second, you see him jump out there, try to grab the enemy. So he will grab you. If he does, it's an instant kill. Um, ideal for sort of kiting the enemies through and for him to kill them for you instead. You get a big group. There you go. Right, another upgrade to find. Let's go and grab that quick. There it is. guys. A few of these spawn in. But we can't kill him. There we go. Get out the spider web that slows you down. Ammo again. Fly around quick, let's see what we can grab. Anything anywhere. There's one right behind him. Right. Let's leave that, grab that one. There we are. That's quite tough. Oh, I need to go and grab some more ammo. There's another upgrade to find as well. Let's go and find that. There it is. Oh, 
try and take this guy out while we've got the uh, help. There we go. the bus has spawned. So this being the first one is going to be relatively easy. Just need to keep away from his tongue and the uh, little things he fires out in a little minute. Watch out for that tongue. Oh, he got us there. No! <laughs> we got grabbed by the boss, got stuck in a spider web. Right, that's uh, that world anyway. Let's jump into another one. Right, so this is Tomahawk's Temple. Right, so we're going with this one. Come on enemies, where are you? There we go. Right, let's go and find the upgrade. Oh, I think that's it up there, there we go. Oh, we got killed, I didn't realise that. That thing in the middle of the screen there killed us. Right. <laughs> um, I think that is going to do it for the gameplay. So let's just jump back to the main menu and show you the other game modes. Well, there you go then, guys. That was some gameplay from the campaign mode. You've also got a survival mode as well, based on the same levels as in the campaign. There's also a boss rush mode as well. Um, I believe you have to complete the game to unlock that. Finally, you've got your settings, vibration and audio sliders. That's pretty much it in there. And then we can go back and select one of the three save slots we've got for our profile. That wraps it up then, guys. So there you go. That was a look at Flutter Bombs. As we said earlier on, it's going to be available on the 12th of April. So go and check it out if you're interested. Hope this video has given you a nice little insight to the game, what it looks like, what it plays like. If it has, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.